Try some more? Yeah. All right. Go ahead. Crank the lens open a bit more. See Do that again. I, I pushed it. Push two. Okay. Push one again. Okay, it sounded like it stepped three places here that time. Oh. Smile. There, you're on film. Film? What? Film. Yes, little did you know you were on film. Ha ha. Anyway, we're back out here at uh, Woodland Hills now, or down here at Woodland Hills, where the other end of the control system is. And, as you can see, we have a plethora of junk. The microwave transmitter control unit is up here. The antenna, of course, is out in the backyard. You'll see that in a moment. The sound diplexer channel, as it's called, which multiplexes the audio channel on a 6.8 megacycle subcarrier on the microwave. The Volumax, the Automax, to ride level and keep the modulation correct. And the Mosley remote control system. And up here, we have the monitor receiver, two loggers, back spare logger. The rest of the stuff, the tape recorders and the cartridge machines and everything, are for the news that they do on Thursday nights. And then over here, would you believe, is another receiver that's on the input of the repeater. It goes up the microwave, you pardon the expression, so that we can add this receiver to the system if we want to. It, from this end of the valley, and as high as we are here, covers a lot of areas that the repeater doesn't cover. We're about 1,400 feet high here. So it, it's good in the, into the valleys and canyons below Mount Wilson in the Newhall Palmdale area. Or not Palmdale, um, the Newhall area anyway over here, outside there. Anyway, uh, the camera control unit over here for the camera and and the camera's hiding over there and uh, it's buried somewhere. But uh, this is where Scott was when he gave his little speech there and said, film? Anyway, as I mentioned, the camera, well, everybody has their own personal antique and uh, this one is mine. It, it works and uh, this is what uh, you saw Scott with up there. And uh, it, between this camera, the RCA transmitter up there, and the microwave, I can cause a brownout in the west end of the San Fernando Valley, if not the whole San Fernando Valley. But anyway, uh, my genuine antique here, but it works. Over on the other side here, we have equipment used for making frequency measurements, modulation measurements, all kinds of uh, measurements used uh, mainly in the broadcast world. Uh, this is equipment we have here for doing just that, making measurements for broadcast stations, TV, AM, FM, and everything. Also use it to keep track of where the repeater is, its deviation, its frequency, and everything. Um, the Gertz uh, is used as a transfer oscillator, uh, monitors, receivers, TV receivers, wideband receivers for the low bands and not through two meters, converters. And deviation meters, signal generators, and more frequency meters, and and so ends the saga of Bert, K6OQK, WR6ABE, and their next door neighbor. Yeah, with your head around there, gal. Come on. The Tasmanian wild woman. Oh, looking good, looking good. All 10 for RX3. Well, wait a minute, wait a minute. What's your 20 out there, gal? Yeah, well, I'm over on Van Island Road. Yeah, the Golden State Freeway. You're too far away. What are you doing all the way over there? Oh, well. This is the 19th of May, a Sunday afternoon. We're having a picnic for the Mount Wilson Repeater Association, WR6ABE group, here in Griffith Park. Hi, I'm Grover Cleveland, WA6WJV. It's my wife, Lindsay, and our little harmonic, Sarah. Hi, I'm John, K6QAL, North Hollywood, California. Hi, Lenore. I'm Ben Ehrman, W6WPT Van Nuys. Hi, <laughs> W6ILL, Woodland Hills. Uh, my, okay, my name is, my name is, oh, I blew that one, did it? My name is Ed, uh, this is my wife, Pogelli, 
Uh, Willie Baker, six hole, Uncle 